Hey guys, hope you're doing well. My name is Louie. I'm going to be doing a reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please take what resonates, leave the rest. Do not make the story fit. If you guys want to book a personal reading with me, please check the description box below. You'll find all the information there. Um, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment below. I do like to interact with every single one of you guys, so leave me a message. Let me know if it resonated. Okay, let's get started on your reading. So I've already prayed on the cards. Um, let's get started. Let's see. What do we got here for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Angel guys, fairy guys, a good level of light. Clear and precise messages. What do we got for the current situation? What are we going through? What is Aquarius going through? All right, so the death card. Um, Scorpio energy, you could be dealing with a Scorpio, but you're avoiding change. There's some sort of depression. Okay, this talks about stagnation. All right, things have to trans... It came out in the reverse. Things have to transform, and you have to kind of, like, surrender to that. Okay, you have it in the reverse. So you're trying to avoid some sort of change here. All right, what is in the blockage? Some of you have to put something to an end. Okay, you have to end something and you're trying to go every which way you possibly could to get out of that ending. Okay, so what's the blockage here? All right, your energy, so the fool. All right, you got to take a leap of faith into the unknown. For some of you, you guys are not releasing something and you have the blockages that you're not taking a leap of faith. All right, something is better for you, okay? Maybe even leaving, leaving the city, okay, could be significant, but you have to go ahead and take this leap of faith into the unknown successes in the other side of fear, okay? But you could be scared at this time to let go of something. It's letting you know right here to let go of something and take a leap of faith, okay? Because... I don't know. What is in the foundation? You have Taurus energy, the hair font. Okay, so a long-term commitment could be coming in. All right, so the hair font also talks about a professor, a teacher, or somebody who teaches, a spiritualist of some sort, a healer of some sort. Okay, so some of you guys could be dealing with somebody like that, or you guys are healers. Okay, you have the hermit. Okay, Virgo energy in the recent past. So you guys went within okay so it kind of makes sense here you have all major arcana so you're doing a lot of you transformations for you okay your self-help okay this is like you seeking guidance um spiritually okay with the hermit all right in the recent past somebody could have ghosted you all right but that doesn't um mean I, i'm just picking up here that you guys are taking a leap of faith you're scared to take a leap of faith and as soon as you do your whole life is going to transform. So what is on your mind? What is on your mind? What's in your subconscious? You have the Queen of Wands. Yeah, you guys could be manifesting this. You're, you look good. You're, you're um, very bold, feisty. Okay, you might have a black cat for some of you. What is in the, the near future? Page of Swords. Somebody's stalking. There's going to be people watching. Okay, so what's hidden? The Eight of Swords. Yeah, you're coming out of this trap. Okay, that's what's hidden here. Somebody might be binding you, okay, to keep you trapped in a situation. You're going to get out of that. This is somebody who's in a spiritual jail or in a mental jail or in, in physical jail. Okay, but I don't believe this is your energy. This is what's hidden. What's hidden. Okay, so what is um, in your environment? Regret, depression, okay, um, focus on these three cups that are spilled over, not realizing the two of cups right behind them. New York could be significant. Somebody could be from Brooklyn. That's the Brooklyn Bridge, right? You're sitting in the dark. You're, you're kind of like um, in the fields, in your environment. You probably don't like where you live or something like that. What is Nine of Swords on their hopes and fears? Okay, you're in fear. You have panic. You guys could be waking up in the middle of the night, multiple times in the middle of the night with the Nine of Swords. Okay, that talks about carrying a lot of um, 
thoughts in your mind. You don't let your mind kind of like take a break. So you stay thinking. And you're a fixed sign. So we get fixated on certain things. So what's the outcome? All right. Yeah. Foresight. All right. Leaving something behind. Looking forward. Okay. To something else. All right. This is creativity. This is growth. All right. Expansion. All right. Some of you could be looking at land. Okay, or looking at a place to like buy somewhere. Okay, this is like entrepreneurship, and then that's the truth. All right, so you're having some sort of aha moment, some sort of breakthrough clarity. All right, that you have to leave something behind in order for you to obtain something else. Okay, so let's start clarifying and see what's going on. It's a lot of energies here. Um, what's the death card in the reverse? So, the death card in the reverse talks about um, old habits. Okay, like. Kind of like not letting go of something yeah because you're still juggling okay so for some of you you guys are releasing that with the two of pentacles in the reverse all right because there's so much instability okay you could be releasing a scorpio for some of you you guys could be releasing a capricorn what is what is the death card with the two of pentacles Double twos, you guys could be seeing two, two, two. All right, the two of swords, you're you're blindfolded with the ability to remove that blindfold, see things for what they truly are, but you're choosing not to. A decision needs to be made here. Okay, so this is talking about make that decision. Your heart chakra is completely blocked at this time. What's the fool under the blockage? What's the fool? So that's you, Aquarius energy. What is the fool under blockage? Ten of Pentacles. So this be this could be because of family, all right, or lack of money here. Um, what's the Ten of Pentacles with the fool? For some of you, you guys can't leave something, or maybe you cannot leave because you're helping a family member out or something like that with the fool, because the fool is taking a leap of faith and going somewhere, leaving the city behind. Okay, so for some of you, you guys are dealing with family or you guys are helping family. So you guys can't really leave. You guys can't leave. You can't make that decision. Okay, that's for some of you. That's not for all of you. All right, for some of you, you guys are taking that leap of faith. Success is in the other side of fear. This is legacy wealth. Maybe you can't build legacy wealth wherever you live, but you could build it, legacy wealth wherever, like in another state or something like that. So leaving... Um, Something behind, like a, a, a whole state, could be significant. All right, what's the hair font? Pisces energy, the hangman. Okay, so you are starting to see things from a different perspective. All right. Um, for some of you, you're having to sacrifice something, and this has this is talking about conforming to traditional beliefs here. For some of you, you guys, you guys are seeing things from a different perspective, and you guys are gonna. Um, there's some sort of delay, okay. But at the same time, it's needed. It's almost like divine intervention with the hierophant. What is this? Queen of Swords, your energy. Okay, so you guys are like cutting people off left and right for some of you you guys have to cut somebody off a taurus can be significant or a pisces can be significant an area uh aquarius libra gemini okay but queen of swords you are very determined you're very focused on what you need to be doing okay you're very like come at me bro i'm gonna cut you i'm i'm focused i'm hyper focused i saw all the red flags i'm speaking my truth okay you want to come at me i have a truth for you okay so that's for someone here you might know something about somebody, like uh, something that they've been hiding, okay, or something like that. What's the hermit in the recent past with the Nine of Pentacles? Virgo energy, double Virgo energy, okay, with the hermit. All right, you guys are self-made here. You guys have isolated yourself. While you've been doing this isolation, okay, you guys have been, like, building something with the Nine of Pentacles, all right, building legacy wealth, self-made. All right, this is a person who's not codependent on anybody. She's very independent. Maybe like you going, um, staying with like family or something like that. You could have been saving money or something like that. But anyway, Nine of Pentacles, self-made. 
All right, some of you could be models um, with the Nine of Pentacles. Some of you guys could be working on your garden. All right, with the Hermit. What's the Hermit? Some of you definitely did some introspection. You guys went through the Dark Night of the Soul, and you guys definitely, definitely... With the Nine of Pentacles and the Hermit, you stayed single for a while so that you could find some sort of solace and spirituality, so that you could find some sort of faith, okay, again, because whatever it is that you went through with the Death card in the reverse, um, whatever it is that you went through, it really did some sort of number on you, okay, but it allowed you to realize that you weren't, you didn't need to be codependent on anybody, you are that Queen of Wands. What's this Queen of Wands on your mind? king of pentacles so the king of pentacles to the king queen of wands okay it could be an aries leo sag um an aries leo sag virgo taurus capricorn that you could be dealing with what is this queen of wands with the queen with the king of pentacles one of them is like let's see what is this Alright, so there could be somebody that's coming in with some sort of communication here. Somebody could be messaging you or something like that with the Queen of Wands, King of Pentacles. Somebody here is ready to... Somebody here is like um, sexually driven. I guess you could say. Could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sag. Alright, they could be communicating this to you. What? Yeah, they don't let go of you. With the Four of Pentacles, all right, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, um, energy with that Four of Pentacles, you're holding on too tightly to something that you need to let go of, okay, for some of you, you guys are saving some sort of money, all right, to move somewhere or something like that, to be with your divine counterpart, let's see, what, I feel like this is you at the same time, you're looking good, you're working out, you're very reliable, you're very resourceful, you're embodying both divine feminine and a divine masculine energy, Okay, but with the Four of Pentacles, you have to let go of something. What's this Four of Pentacles? What do we have to let go of here, Spirit? This um, Twin Flame. Okay, so 1111, this relationship. Okay, with the, with the Four of Wands. Okay, this marriage. You have to let go. You're holding on too tightly to this. And some of you really need to let it go. Some of you could be, like, in a relationship... Um, where someone just wants to have sex all the time and the other one is trying to, like, build up their, their life legacy, you know? What is... Give me one more. For the Queen of Wands and the King of Pentacles. All right, so for some of you, you guys are going to have another opportunity. This could be a ring or something like that. So with the Four of Wands, yeah, this could be marriage. All right, for some of you, you guys are thinking about marrying this Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sag, okay, but you're in defense about it, all right, with the death card and being in the current situation, um, in the reverse, okay, that talks about avoiding some sort of change, there's some sort of stagnation, all right, for some of you, you need to take a leap of faith and go to your divine counterpart, okay, so you guys could be in the wrong relationship at this time, all right, that doesn't mean, that's not for everybody, all right, what's this Page of Swords? So the Page of Swords is talking about somebody who's like heavily watching. This is in the near future. Okay, that could be significant. All right, yeah, they're watching what you got going on at work. Okay, uh, Eight of Pentacles. You're very skillful at what you do. All right, the Eight of Pentacles with that one pentacle, that's Nine of Pentacles. So you've done this on your own. For some of you, you guys have built a business. Okay, and this Page of Swords is somebody who's watching you. Okay, Stalker Energy. All right, or you could be learning something else to add to your business. Okay, so what is the Eight of Swords under Hidden? What is this Eight of Swords under Hidden? I knew it. Justice. So, Justice with the Eight of Swords. Libra energy. The Justice is talking about the court system. Some of you could be dealing with a court issue. Okay. And then the Eight of Swords is talking about somebody going to jail. So, if it's not you, this could be somebody else. Okay, this is under hidden. 
all right? Or somebody's karma is to be in spiritual jail because they could have done something against you or something like that because I see this person binded, all right? So something along those lines. What is the Eight of Swords with the Justice? The Seven of Cups, a lot of options, a lot of confusion. Who is this? Who's going through this? Could be a Libra. It could be you guys too. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. All right, who's going through this, Spirit? Tell me more on this. Tell me more. All right, Nine of Cups with the Knight of Cups. Okay, so... That would be the Ten of Cups. I feel like you're coming out of some, being trapped in a situation here. Okay, you have a lot of options that are coming in and it has to do with love. Okay, there's going to be like a lot of love offers. And this one cup with this uh, Nine of Cups, that talks about the Ten of Cups. Okay, so somebody is coming in to offer you a relationship or something like that okay but you're kind of like confused there's a lot of options you don't know what to do okay so you're balancing things out and with the eight of swords you're coming out of being trapped okay so good for you all right for somebody else the story that i'm picking up here i'm picking up a couple of stories so somebody is in jail okay or something like that or in a spiritual jail hallucinating and shit like that Okay, with the Seven of Cups, because they wanted to have their cake and eat it too, and they were spreading their love to everybody. They're in love with the idea of love, but not really um, providing you with anything. What's the Seven of Cups, Spirit? With the King of Cups. Yeah, I feel like you're emotionally balanced here. All right. There could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio that's coming in. All right. Or a Cancer Pisces Scorpio that could be very confused and in jail. All right. For doing something, for having their cake and eat it too. That's for someone. All right. But I feel like whoever um, has done shit to you, try to bind you, or kind of like keep you trapped or something like that, they're going to be in jail. Okay, with justice, all right, or they're getting their karma. They're getting their karma one way or another. What's this Five of Cups in the environment? So, Five of Cups is somebody who's in regret. Okay, and let's see. With the temperance, Sagittarius energy, you're trying to balance something out. For some of you, you need to balance your emotions out. You could be like one day you're good and then the next day you're kind of like, uh, but why? And then one day you're like, okay, but yeah, you're, you're kind of like unbalanced right now. You need to balance yourself, bring balance and harmony into a situation. Okay. With that five of cups there, this is in your environment. All right. For some of you, you need to have patience. Yeah. Don't act on your impulse. This is divinely guided. Okay. With the judgment and the high priestess. But anyway, what is the Five of Cups with the Temperance Spirit? Yeah, Three of Pentacles. Collaborate, working together with other people. Okay, for some of you, you need to have patience um, to get something off the ground. All right, with the Three of Pentacles. That talks about creativity. All right, so you guys could be kind of like depressed or maybe even using your depression. All right for motivation transmuting the energy in art okay or something like that that's for someone um what's this nine of swords spirit what's the nine of swords with that three of wands you have so much ahead of you 
the chariot okay you guys have to travel or do something like that or go somewhere travel i've been saying that it's been coming out a lot so some of you are leaving the city behind okay some of you could be riding a motorcycle here but you're realizing that you need to leave something behind this whole entire um victory this this whatever this is that's going on all right you're being held by your own fear and by your own thoughts this is self-sabotaging behavior so is this eight of um cut i mean eight of um swords so you guys could be in self-sabotaging behavior so if somebody comes in that's another story that i'm picking up with that other with the what was hidden if another if a person comes in with a love offer or something like that it's going to be like you're going to be so confused because you still have to leave something behind and maybe you're still kind of like in hopes of something returning or something like that what is this spirit what's the three of wands For some of you, I feel like your growth is somewhere else. Yeah, look, that judgment with the high priestess coming out, you're, you need to keep your move silent, okay? That's one thing. Judgment, all right, you're calling judgment on these people, whatever this is, all right? With the judgment showing up, you've had some sort of an awakening. And the high priestess, you guys are like tarot readers or you had some sort of spiritual awakening. It could be a healer of some sort. You guys could be healers, Reiki healers, tarot readers, nurses, doctors, whatever, heals, okay you are in this kind of energy right now for some of you you've had some sort of victory maybe you graduated from something okay but with that three of wands i'm talking about like you have to go somewhere travel collaboration maybe even this expansion is going to happen somewhere else all right for some of you if you guys just moved then that's different that's this is where your expansion is coming. What's this Eight of Swords? The world. You're, you're speaking the truth to the whole wide world. Okay. The world talks about a sense of completion. Okay, Aquarius, that's your energy. Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo. All right, with the Ace of Swords, you're speaking your truth. All right, for some of you, you guys could be online speaking your truth. What is this? Ten of Swords, and it's causing a lot of heartbreak and backstab. You feel like there's people that are being that feel betrayed by you or something like that. What is this Ten of Swords? The Ten of Swords also talks about an ending. Like you have to put something to an end. This is sense of completion, an aha moment. All right, you're cutting it. Ah, yeah. Okay, so what is this Ten of Swords with the world? Ten of Swords with the world and the Two of Wands. Again, traveling. Somebody could be at a distance from you. What's this? Could be a Capricorn, a Solid Devil, Ace of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. Um, what is the Ten of Swords spirit? Ten of Swords with the Everything is Fine card. So, yeah, you're already, you're not, have patience. You're starting to see the fruits of your labor. Okay, so everything is fine with the Ten of Swords. All right, this is not you hitting rock bottom. This Everything is going to be fine. You might think that you've hit rock bottom. That's not the case. You're holding complete all by yourself. You've had some sort of an epiphany. Okay, you've had some sort of breakthrough clarity. Okay, so you guys are in the in the right track here. What else do we got? Spirit advice. Give me some advice. All right. No, no more fighting okay the five of wands this is like somebody coming in to um have a truce with you okay so what is this what else spirit advice give me some advice for aqua all right the strength card all right don't force anything have the strength and the courage to move on have confidence okay there's no one in the world like you all right the two of cups is in the bottom of the deck so this should be coming in and then the moon there's some sort of like something that's hidden somebody your person or whatever is going through some sort of situation okay something hidden coming to light with their with their situation right the ten of cups with the tower and then walking away so somebody's walking away from something okay from their ten of cups here because of lies all right i don't believe this is you this is your past six of cups so, all right, guys, I hope you like your reading. Um, just wanted to jump on here really quick 
and do a quick reading. Um, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment below. I do like to interact with y'all, so um, smash that like button, subscribe. Okay, we're celebrating 4,500 um, subscribers today, so keep it up, guys. Peace.